Chinese astronauts return to Earth after six months helping build a new space station. China's Shenzhou-14 astronauts have handed over control of the Tiangon space station and returned to Earth. The return capsule from the mission's Shenzhou spacecraft set down safely after sunset within the Dongfeng landing area in the Gobi Desert in the Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region on Sunday, December 4, at around 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, about nine hours after undocking from the country's recently completed Tiangong space station. Welcome back to the Space Gaze. Before we proceed, kindly subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated when we release new videos. Without further delay, let's dive in. The safe return marks the end of a six-month-long mission during which astronauts Chen Dong, Liu Yang, and Kai Suji oversaw the arrival of the second and third modules for Tiangong and carried out three spacewalks to check and test out the new facilities. The three astronauts radioed that they were feeling fine shortly after landing, with the message greeted with applause at the Beijing Aerospace Flight Control Center BACC. Before leaving, the crew played their part in the country's first crew handover, with the new Wenchen and Mengshin modules added to the Tian Core module allowing both Shenzhou-14 and the newly arrived Shenzhou-15 crews to spend five days together on board. The get-together marked the first time China has had six astronauts in space simultaneously. Chen, Liu and Kai also hosted a live and interactive science outreach lecture and sent home stunning images of the Earth and Moon during their half-year in orbit. They were also involved in five rendezvous and docking maneuvers, with modules, new Tianzhou freighters and Shenzhou craft arriving two spacecraft separations and two module transpositions, which relocated the Wenchen and Mengshin modules to their permanent lateral docking ports. The astronauts were carried out of the capsule by medical workers about 40 minutes after touchdown. They were all smiles and appeared to be in good condition, waving happily at workers at the landing site. I am very fortunate to have witnessed the completion of the basic structure of the Chinese space station after six busy and fulfilling months in space, said Chen, who was the first to exit the capsule. Like meteors, we returned to the embrace of the motherland. The three astronauts were part of the Shenzhou-14 mission, which launched in June. After their arrival at Tangong, Chen, Liu and Kai oversaw five rendezvous and dockings with various spacecraft including one carrying the third of the station's three modules. They also performed three spacewalks, beamed down a live science lecture from the station, and conducted a range of experiments. The Tiangong is part of official Chinese plans for a permanent human presence in orbit. China built its own station after it was excluded from the International Space Station, largely due to U.S. objections over the Chinese space program's close ties to the People's Liberation Army, the military wing of the ruling Communist Party. With the arrival of the Shenzhou-15 mission, the station expanded to its maximum weight of 100 tons. Without attached spacecraft, the Chinese station weighs about 66 tons, a fraction of the International Space Station, which launched its first module in 1998 and weighs around 465 tons. With a lifespan of 10 to 15 years, Tiangong could one day be the only space station still up and running if the International Space Station retires by around the end of the decade as expected. China in 2003 became the third government to send an astronaut into orbit on its own after the former Soviet Union and the United States. China has also chalked up uncrewed mission successes. Its U-22 rover was the first to explore the little-known far side of the moon. Its Chang'e 5 probe also returned lunar rocks to Earth in December 2020 for the first time since the 1970s, and another Chinese rover is searching for evidence of life on Mars. Officials are reported to be considering an eventual crewed mission to the moon, although no timeline has been offered. Shenzhou-14 launched on June 5 this year, reaching the Solo TN module 6.5 hours later, but the crew leave behind a completed and fully operational three-module T-shaped Tiangong space station. The mission matches the Shenzhou-13 mission in being China's longest so far, at 182 days. Mission Commander Chen Dong also set a new Chinese record for total time in space, becoming the country's first astronaut to spend more than 200 days in orbit.
Chen previously spent 33 days aboard the Taingong 2 Test Space Lab, a prototype for the larger Taingong modules, during the Shenzhou 11 mission in 2016. Shenzhou 14 was the third crewed mission to Taingong, which at first consisted solely of the Tian Core module, which launched in April 2021. The first crewed visit to Tian, Shenzhou 12, lifted off in June 2021 and landed 92 days later. The newly underway Shenzhou 15 mission will also last around six months, supplied by the Tianzhou 5 freighter. The spacecraft for the following mission is already at the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. Shenzhou 16 has been assembled and tested and is on standby in case of need of an emergency launch to Taingong, according to China's official space news outlet. The completed Taingong station at which Shenzhou 15 and Tianzhou 5 are currently docked is about 20% as massive as the International Space Station, ISS. The country plans to keep the Taingong space station permanently occupied and operational for at least a decade and could see commercial missions, international astronauts, and even tourist visits to the orbital outpost in the coming years. Prior to departure, the astronauts had overlapped for almost five days with three colleagues who arrived on Wednesday on the Shenzhou 15 mission for their own six-month stay, marking the first time China has had six astronauts in space at the same time. The station's third and final module docked with the station this month. The astronauts were carried out of the capsule by medical workers about 40 minutes after touchdown. They were smiling and appeared to be in good condition, waving happily at workers at the landing site. I am very fortunate to have witnessed the completion of the basic structure of the Chinese space station after six busy and fulfilling months in space. Chen, who was the first to exit the capsule, said. Like meteors, we return to the embrace of the motherland. Liu, another of the astronauts, said she was moved to see relatives and colleagues. The three astronauts were part of the Shenzhou 14 mission, which launched in June. After their arrival at Tangong, Chen, Liu and Kai oversaw five rendezvous and dockings with various spacecraft, including one carrying the third of the station's three modules. They also performed three spacewalks, beamed down a live science lecture from the station and conducted a range of experiments. That's all I have for you guys for today. If you liked watching this video, please make sure to click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon so that you may be notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching.